Hi. Anyway, hello, and if you like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain, then you're going to love this Wednesday. Okay, I'll be completely honest. I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to be talking about at all. I'm kind of making this up as I go along. Um, yes, that's a plastic tortoise behind me. His name is Norman. I got him when I was in third grade. Everyone thinks he's real. He's not real though, actually, because he was made in China. He's he's sort of like Pinocchio. Deep inside, he believes he's a real tortoise. He's gonna be a real boy someday. But for now, he doesn't matter. That was louder than I thought it was going to be. So, um, yes, this really isn't getting off to a good start, is it? Alright, um, well, as you, as you could tell from last week's video, I was in Arizona, and I have to admit, it was absolutely wonderful. And it was, like, 90 degrees almost every day that we were there, and we were in, like, the cold part of Arizona, so, like, it was fantastic. And I'm glad we went. Las Vegas, however, which is where our flight went to, and then we drove the three hours or so over to Arizona. It's hateful. It is such a hateful place. I don't I don't know if any of you guys have ever been there and if any of you live in, in Las Vegas or somewhere near, I apologize that I just don't like it. Because okay, I saw this morbidly obese man who was walking like really weird. I couldn't tell if he was drunk or if he was so fat that his um that like, he was medically wrong in some way. I don't know, but like, so he's just kind of like limping over to an ashtray, takes out two cigarette stubs, lights them, and starts smoking them again right in front of us. And like, oh god, it was. It was horrible. Oh my god, we, I was so glad when we left. And, um,. Actually, I do have a story to tell you about my little sister. Um, the water is really the only way you can tell that it was March and therefore should be cold. But it wasn't, and all my friends were really jealous. But like secretly, you, you sort of miss having all the snow and sleet and negative 10 temperatures. Because like, you know, it's just, it's, I, I wouldn't want to live in like a, in a place where it's 90 degrees every day because the heat would just get exhausting. And I mean, I do hate Minnesota weather because like only in Minnesota would you ever have a blizzard on the day you come back from spring break. True story. My, and my bus was 20 minutes late. But it's, it's like it's, you sort of want to be back home just because it's, it's home. Anyway, now that I've gotten that um, disgustingly Broadway illusion out of my system, here's the story about my sister. So she was originally going to do the Polar Plunge with her softball team, but she couldn't make it because she was sick. And in case you don't know, Polar Plunge is when they just cut a slab of ice out of a lake and um, a bunch of people jump in. I don't know why they do it. I, I would never do it, but my sister wanted to. and. Let's just say she got her chance when we were in Arizona because um, our great aunt and uncle had rented the house next to our great uncle's house that we were staying at because it was sort of one big family reunion in a, in a state where none of them live. But um, anyway, and they had this small pool. It wasn't, it wasn't huge, but it was, it was fairly decent size. And, like, me and my sister were like, oh, why don't we go swimming? It's been in the sun all day and it's 90 degrees. And, like, I'm sure it'll be warm. Yeah, um, it was a good thing that we, like, decided to stick our hands in first because it was so cold. It was, oh, my God. It, like, we actually timed, to see, we timed ourselves to see how long we could keep our feet in the water without freaking out and, like, going, like, ah, no, I can't take this anymore. Um, we lasted a minute and 35 seconds. And, like, this is Minnesota people. We're used to this. It's like, 
Oh my god, it was absolutely freezing. And um, so then my sister's like, she kind of, she's kind of just like staring at the pool. I'm like, what are you looking at? And she's like, I kind of want to jump in. And I'm like, are you insane? And she's like, I'm going to do it. Here, record it. So she hands me her iPod. And like, I'm just watching there, trying not to burst out laughing. And she's like, just, just down into her bikini. And like, and she just kind of like looks at me and goes like, huh? Huh? And I'm like, go ahead, jump in. You were the one who said you wanted to do it. And she's like, give me a countdown. I'm like, are you serious? And she's like, yeah. Otherwise, I'll never do it. And I'm like, fine. So I, I do a countdown. She run, she runs in, does a cannonball, and then like, ab absolutely. <laughs> oh my god. Um, she, I think about half of her went underwater, and the rest of it was splashing. And she kind of like walked on water over over the other side of the pool. And we later found out that the pool was about 42 degrees. And um, she gets out of the pool and she's like screaming really quietly like... <laughs> and so then she's like running around the pool a couple of times. It's just like, you know, like running with like very, very short steps. And she's like... <laughs> and then like, and then she like takes a deep breath, turns to me with the sweetest face, goes like, you should try it. It's really not that bad. And I'm like, are you kidding me? So that was one of the things that happened in Arizona, and, um, yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> there, it was mostly lazing around on the lake, and my sister's goal was to get as sunburned as she possibly could, which is like, yay, stage one skin cancer, joy, but like, um, we all actually got pretty tan, you can't really tell here because the sign like you can't my fingers look like stubs <laughs> sorry i'm easily distractible um yeah we're all pretty tan and like one of my friends took one look at me when i walked back into school on monday and she goes wow you beige so yes i am now the beige minnesotan and um yeah oh but there's one sort of side effect of going someplace in march where it's 90 degrees you may have noticed me um trying to hold all the snot in my nose because I have spring allergies. And, like, all my friends are laughing their heads off at me because, like, they, they of course, don't have it because, in, like, it was actually um, about negative four this morning when I was waiting for the bus. And, like, so they're just, like, all perfectly normal and here's me having to get a, a Kleenex every five seconds. And it's, it's so irritating because it's not going away. You think it would, but it's not. And... Um, actually, this is starting to drag on a bit, sorry. Um, apparently I'm talkative when I'm not sure what I'm doing, so... Okay, la last thing here, I can't wait for Sherlock. I am so excited right now. It's like, Sherlock and Whose Line Is It Anyway? They're both coming back, and I am so happy. And also, I am I have found a new character to fall irrevocably in love with. And oh my god, like, I've, I've never really had feels before, you know, like, dying wheel noise, like, Hee! But like, I've never, I've never really had that, but, um, I do now. It hurts. Feels! Feels, dudes! Feels! Yeah, okay. Tumblr fangirl aside, um, I will see you next Wednesday. I hope you have a fabulous week. Bye!